welcome again the lecture series on heme proteins now in this lecture i will discuss about the difference between myoglobin and hemoglobin so here this slide is showing the difference between myoglobin and hemoglobin so first if we see the difference between their structural uh, units then we will find that the heme is the same part of both myoglobin and hemoglobin but the protein part is different so a protein of myoglobin is a single polypeptide chain it is containing 153 amino residues amino acid residues and it is a monomeric form so myoglobin is a monomeric form while in case of hemoglobin you will find the protein contains four polypeptide chains okay so four polypeptide chains they contain two alpha chains and two beta subunits and these two alpha chains they contain 141 amino acid residues while these uh, beta subunits they contain 146 amino acid uh, residues and it is the approximate tetramer of myoglobin so this hemoglobin is, uh, contains four heme and four subunits of protein while myoglobin contains uh, one heme and single polypeptide chain it is monomer while hemoglobin is a tetramer so we can see the structure of myoglobin here you can find one uh, this protein helix is there that is containing 153 amino acids and one heme group is there while in case of hemoglobin there are four subunits so one subunit uh, is uh, a beta chain the second subunit is beta chain the third subunit is alpha chain and fourth subunit is alpha chain and there are four hemes so four uh, subunits of protein and four heme groups they are present in the hemoglobin so it is a tetramer so one monomer second monomer third monomer and fourth monomer so this is a tetramer kind of uh, structure now if we see the difference in between their functions then we will find that the myoglobin it is stores oxygen in muscles while uh, hemoglobin transport oxygen in uh, in uh, from lungs to the muscles and co2 from muscles to lungs so it its work is to transport oxygen and carbon dioxide while the work of myoglobin is to store oxygen in the muscles it binds oxygen at low partial pressure which can be seen from its uh, this oxygen binding curve and it binds the hemoglobin binds oxygen at high partial pressure so this is the oxygen dissociation binding curve where you will find the the curve of myoglobin is hyperbolic while that of hemoglobin is sigmoidal curve which shows that this hemoglobin shows the cooperativity of oxygen binding as well as the oxygen binding in the hemoglobin is less uh, than that of myoglobin so strength of oxygen binding that is the uh, the oxygen binds to myoglobin tightly as compared to hemoglobin and the partial pressure needed for 50% saturation of myoglobin with oxygen is around 1 mm hg while for that of hemoglobin is around 26 mm hg so this is the difference of oxygen dissociation or binding of oxygen with myoglobin and hemoglobin now as uh, the myoglobin is the monomeric unit so it binds only one oxygen molecule while the uh, the hemoglobin it binds four oxygen molecules why because it is tetramer and it is having four heme groups and this uh, heme uh, hemoglobin it shows cooperativity of binding of oxygen so as uh, the oxygen binds to one uh, unit subunit it it enhances the the addition of other oxygen atoms to other subunits okay strong binding the myoglobin shows strong binding with oxygen as compared to hemoglobin and the last different uh, difference is that binding of oxygen in myoglobin is ph independent while that of the hemoglobin is ph dependent which is also known as bohr's effect the bohr's effect uh, tells about the binding of oxygen
oxygen with the hemoglobin with the change in pH. So at higher pH value binding of oxygen with the hemoglobin is more as compared to at the lower pH. And this hemoglobin it has two forms. One is T form uh, that is tense form and this is deoxy form and the other form is relaxed form that is R form. So these are the main differences in between myoglobin and hemoglobin. So thank you very much.